Welcome to a broadcast this Saturday. I'm Isha Hanspal and you're watching We on World is One with me. Let's begin with the headlines. US President Joe Biden to return to the campaign trail next week reiterates he will not step aside as Democrat candidate for the White House race. Nine more Democrat lawmakers press on him to drop out as his poll numbers weaken against Donald Trump. Hundred and fifteen people now reported killed in the last week of clashes between protesting students and the police in Bangladesh. The Bangladesh military soldiers patrol the streets as curfew is imposed in multiple cities a day after the worst violence. The Indian Army Chief General Upendra Duvedi to visit Jammu today to chair a joint security review meeting focus on a spate of recent terror incidents in the Jammu region and infiltration of foreign terrorists. Most services hit by the global tech outage on Friday, recovering after several hours of disruptions, the cybersecurity firm CrowdStrikes admits it could be some time before all systems are backed up, though it stresses this was not a cyber attack. Billionaire Sultan Ibrahim Alexander officially installed as Malaysia's 17th king in a lavish ceremony showcasing the rich history of the Malay Sultanate. Ibrahim is a king for a five-year term under a unique rotating monarchy system. At least 11 killed, dozens reported missing in northwest China's Shangxi province after a bridge collapsed due to heavy rains and flash floods. 20 cars were reportedly washed away. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.